Good evening or morning or afternoon or wherever it, what time it is, wherever you are as you're watching this live or if you're watching the recording on our new YouTube channel, which I'm so excited about. Welcome to today's crew call. My name is Jimmy Hayes Nelson. I am the founder and CEO of the crew and I'm so excited that you have invested some time to join us this week. It speaks volumes about you, your goals, how seriously you take this business, your passion for helping others that you plug into this every week. And I say it over and over, and I probably sound like a broken record, but engaged coaches are successful coaches. And I really look at this as our, our battery pack, guys. We've been out all week long going and serving and doing, and this is the time to, to bring you know, it back home, plug back into that battery pack, get recharged, ask some questions. Um, as we talk about every week, we talk about learn, do, tweak. Learn something, put it into action immediately, even if you do it wrong, and then we have the opportunity to tweak it and make it better. But we don't know what to tweak if we didn't learn it and do it first. And so this is kind of that opportunity for you to learn. Um, obviously, the do happens as soon as this call is over, and the tweaking takes place on the Facebook crew wall every day as you guys are plugging in and sharing stories, uh, successful things, how you fell down, how it didn't work. And it's always it's such an amazing testament to you guys that you're not afraid to fail and that you go and you you share your struggles. You say, this is working, this isn't, how quickly the rest of the team and the family um, all come in within the crew and offer suggestions and helps and tips. And sometimes it's you need that pat on the back and, or sometimes you need kind of that swift kick in the butt to be like, come on, get back up and we got to go again. But uh, it always seems like those that are willing to fall down the most have the most success in the long run uh, because they're not afraid uh, to goof it up, to get out there and try it. And uh, so if this is your very first crew call, welcome. I'm so stoked. The team is growing like wildfire. And uh, it's so awesome that your sponsor coach has invited you here. Uh, obviously, they care deeply about your success, about you being plugged in, because if they sent you here, that means they want to see you have amazing success, because this is where all of our successful coaches plug in every week. Um, it's been a stellar month, guys. We're about to get to recognition right here, and I want to get through a lot of this because we have an amazing uh, special guest that I'm so excited to talk to tonight, and I want to get to her ASAP. But this has been a stellar month as far as uh, volumes go, as far as Success Club, as sponsorships. Um, I really feel that we are hitting a momentum and a growth that we have never, ever seen before, and uh, I have no intention of slowing down, so I hope you don't either. Um, there's some amazing things on the horizon for next month, uh, but we still have a little bit of time to finish this month strong. So even if you're just getting started, there's no reason uh, you can't end this month strong, that you can't hit Success Club this month and some things that we're going to talk about uh, here in a little while. And uh, even with our special guest, uh, that she's had some amazing success helping her new coaches get Emerald, hit Success Club in that first month. So this is so amazing. So I really encourage you, if you don't already, that you have something to take notes um, I will be taking notes as you feverishly see me look down uh, as, as we're chit-chatting as well. So let's get to our recognition here. Uh, I love recognizing you guys. You're such a hardworking team, and you're out there putting it into action every day. So what we always start with is our team volume leaders. These numbers that we're about to recognize here, they reflect last week's personal team volume. So this is the team volume that that individual – uh, was responsible for, not their entire team, but that individual was responsible for. And so we've broken that down to the crew, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 1,000 plus clubs. Um, and why do we do this? We don't do this because these are the shrewdest salespeople. We don't do this because this is the person with the exact right lines. I look at these people as those that are continuing to go out there, make new friends in their social circles, on social media, uh, whether it's at their work, that they're constantly investing their time and their ear and their heart into other people, finding out what it is that they're dissatisfied maybe with life, and then being able to offer a solution and help that person step by step find a solution and get started uh, boldly. And that's what these people that um, we are about to recognize here as I look at my other screen here. That's why I look to the right because um, that's where all my slides are set up. Um, but those are the people that we get to recognize because you're out there doing it. You're in the trenches. You're the street team, right? You're making this thing happen. So let's get to it. Our Crew 200 Club this week, Cheryl and Alex and Michael and Daniel and Jessica and Esna and Ben, 
Lacey, Bev, Adrian, Brandy, Annabelle, Brian, Alyssa, Danielle, Jed, Jillian, Kayla, Berla, and Kayla again. Uh, there's some new names on that list, guys. I'm always so excited to see new names. It's great to see the same people week in and week out because we know that's consistency. If you see names on these lists as we go through and you're like, man, that person is always on that list, that might be somebody you want to tag on the crew wall and ask, how is it that you're showing up week after week? Because those are the people you want to learn from. But congratulations uh, to everybody on this list, the Crew 200. That's that's team volume points between 200 and 299 from last week. Um, and that's so, so exciting. And I love seeing brand new names. Uh, normally, I will mispronounce them, uh, which is always a good problem. Because that means that somebody new and somebody uh, I need to get to know uh, better as well. So congratulations to the Crew 200 Club. The Crew 300 Club. My beautiful wife, Kelly, tops the list there. Uh, John Hayes. Deborah, Yanelba, Cindy, Jeff, and Angela. This is awesome. So welcome. I think all of these names have been up there uh, before. Uh, it's really exciting to see you guys showing up again and again, taking advantage of the amazing um, promotions that corporate set up with us, especially with this T25 Challenge Pack and Vanilla Shakeology. It just seems like this stuff is just, just rolling. I really think that that two years from now, we're going to look at T25 the way we looked at P90X and the way we looked at Insanity as, as crazy game changers. And uh, we'll talk in a little bit about how to continue the momentum of T25 even after this month uh, while the, the quote-unquote sale isn't on anymore, but how it's still such an amazing value even when that challenge pack, uh, that price shifts. So congratulations to the Crew 300 Club. The Crew 400 Club, Kim, Mary, and then we have a married couple, Tulin and Kareem, right there together, just holding hands, kicking butt, taking names, serving people. Love you guys' um, testimony today on the crew wall. If you haven't seen it yet, please go visit the crew wall. Tulin left an amazing testimony there. Um, if I were you, I would share that testimony. If you look at both my pages today, I did that very thing. The really cool thing about being a part of this team, guys, and being a part of the crew is that there's so many stories that even if you're a brand new coach, you can use those stories and talk about if you're in the process of creating your story, celebrate the stories of the other people in this team and in the crew and, and talk about, wow, I just aligned myself with this team and these amazing people. Let me share a story and why. Let me show you why I got involved uh, with this team and uh, really kind of the hope that they're delivering to other people. And then Victoria, I'm not going to forget you as well. Congratulations. Uh, that's so great. The Crew 400 Club. So you guys are out there doing it. So let's talk about the 500s. We're getting to the big dogs here. Wow, we got a big list here. We got Mandy and Kristen and Jamil and Michelle with combined CBCs. Angela, Cheska, me and my second CBC. Um, I'll celebrate my own accomplishments. Aaron, Suhana, Cherie, Alex, Shannon, and Kobe in his combined CBCs. So that's the crew 500 to 999 club. So see, last week it was me all by myself in the 1,000 club. And I was like, hey, I need people to join me. And I didn't even hit it again this week. So um, speaking of the 1,000 club, we have some sad news. There is no – it was last week. We went from having about six there to five to one to this poor sad cat sitting there all by itself that needs some company. Uh, the good news is that we know that that's possible, right? We've had weeks where this thousand plus, the reason we added the thousand plus is because you guys continued to show up and fill that and, and show that there was a need. So I'm not taking that. I'm not, I'm not willing to lower the bar now. Once we've created uh, a category, I'm not willing to pull that back down. So I am going to, um, I'm leaving this up there with sad cat saying sad cat needs some, uh, needs some company. However, I do have something kind of cool. I have good news and a little fun incentive. I got to talking to Kelly and I was like, you guys are showing up so well on this volume leaders thing that I wanted to reward you. So drum roll, please. From now on going forward, anybody who makes the crew 500 or 1000, so 500 plus that week, um, I'm going to open up a weekly Google Plus Hangout just for those coaches where we chit-chat, we tweak, we, we answer questions, <clears throat> and it's just kind of a private powwow with me for the coaches that are 500 and up that week. So to just take care of and reward um, those of you that are doing really well on the retail side, that are really doing well on the volume side. So 
Um, congratulations to those of you that hit that constantly and consistently. And, um, and maybe a little incentive for those of you that are, that are just peeking at that, you're right there. But this is something that I wanted to find more ways to work with some of you individually and in these small groups because uh, you guys are obviously – you deserve this kind of time. You deserve um, this extra mentorship, and I just I want to be able to do that for you. So um, I think it's going to be on Thursday. So like date and time coming soon. We're working on a couple things calendar wise, uh, but you guys will be uh, getting some information uh, once you qualify, and we'll be letting you know when that Google Plus Hangout is as well. Um. So I am clearing up some of these questions here. We'll get back to these here in a little bit, guys. Uh, back to my slides. Success Club. Guys, we have Success Club 30 now. This is awesome. I love the fact that you guys are rocking this so awesome. So Jamil, Tulin, and myself are hanging out in the Success Club 30 uh, hangout this year, or this year, this week, this month. Uh, again, as these bars get raised, guys, what this shows us is that this is possible any month, not just because it's T25, $180 uh, challenge pack month, that it's your posture and how you're going about this, that if you can hit this any month, so we have people hitting 30 and 20, and you're going to see in a minute, like we have record numbers for 10 and five also, but I'm not willing to lower this bar back down because you guys, like the belief system has gone so deep in what we can do. And think about this. If you're shooting for 30 or 20 or 10, you're going to hit five by accident. And I tell this story all the time and I'm going to tell it again because we always have new coaches on here is the minute I started making success club on a consistent basis is when Tommy Migrant and I looked at each other and said, we're making success club 10 by the 10th of every month. I had never made success club 10 ever when I made that kind of pact with him, 10 by the 10th. But I haven't missed success club five ever since doing that. Um, it just it happened by accident. So whatever your goal is, like shoot above that and you're going to hit your goal uh, by accident. So congratulations, Success Club 30, Success Club 20, Kristen, Kobe, Vicky. Um, this is awesome. We still have part of the month to go, guys. We're not done yet. As you can see, look at Success Club 10 and Success Club 5. This is amazing. Um, I think we're, we're almost we're really close to record numbers of Success Club and the crew this month. Um, I think we hit in the 40s once before. I'm going to have to go back and do some research. But Shuri and Brian and Andy, Mary, Kareem, Liz, John, Danielle, Shannon, Beverly, Christy, Jacania. I'm still, see, look, girl. Two weeks in a row I got your name right. Uh, Christina, Jack, Jamie, Jillian, Adrian, Joshua, Kim, Leslie, Brandy, Robin, Solange, Christopher, Christy, Michael, Suhana, Sherry, Chris, Angela, Britt, and Christina. Um, congratulations, guys. You guys are rocking. And look who's all still on the board. This is everybody with at least one point. What's the good news about one point? That means if you've gotten one point, you know you can get a success club point, and you can do it again and again and again. So keep rocking and rolling, guys. We have new emeralds. Christina, John, and Michelle are our brand new emeralds. And uh, that's exciting because that's really where your business kind of starts, and that's something we're going to talk about tonight with our special guest uh, about Emerald, the importance of it, and getting there quickly, the importance of it. And then I'm so proud because she's one of my PS coaches, and this lady is a rock star. Uh, I have no doubt that that the sky is the limit for Miss Mary Shrink, and this is just the beginning of, of many, 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 many accolades to come. Uh, she has a huge heart. She has an amazing work ethic um, and an amazing drive and passion for for what we're doing. And I've been it's been such a privilege um, to get to know her and to work with her. And so congratulate, um, uh, Mary on being our newest crew diamond. Um, just want to check Q and A's, make sure we're all good again, guys, we're not at the end of the month yet, but remember you have just a few days left to let people know if they've been on the fence about this T25 challenge group, the way I've been kind of talking about it as a test group, it's a brand new program. We're looking for success stories. Um, by you stepping up to join our test group, we're actually offering you a 42% off coupon to offer it to you for $180. Normally, all these products, uh, these supplies would cost you over $300 to get. Um, that's worked really, really well for me. Uh, I would go back and revisit those people and let them know that this is jumping from $180 to $205 just in a few days. 
uh, but that you're still looking for some people in your test group to get in these challenge groups to see real success. Also, Vanilla Shakeology, and we're wrapping up the Team Cup, guys. Um, if you have found people in your Team Cup that you think make good success partners, that you want, wow, I'm producing more because of this, um, this, this Team Cup, I suggest you not stop working with those people. Keep that momentum rolling. And exciting news. Uh, for those of you that weren't with us last year, we did a diamond trip to New Orleans. That was amazing. And you see a lot of the accolades that have coming out. You've seen people like Kobe hit five-star diamond. You've seen John hit uh, three-star diamond. You've seen um, you've seen a lot of the coaches that went to this uh, New Orleans trip really have their business have exploded this year. And uh, we are planning another one. Uh Details are coming soon. In fact, right before this call, we were um, solidifying a few things. So next week's call, I will have all the details, how you qualify, when you have to qualify by, and what all is involved in the trip. Uh, you just don't want to miss this. That's all I can say. Um, I wish I could just sit here and spill everything, but we got we got things to get to today. But just know that uh, the month of November is going to be a lot of fun down in the Big Easy. So let me see here. Let me make sure that we have, I'm going to get attendee list. I'm going to find our special guest and help her get her webcam on because it is morning there. Let's see. This will work for me. Oh, I got a pinwheel. Don't pinwheel. Okay. Make a panelist. So Miss Carr, you should be able to see a thing that says webcam and then share your webcam and you should be joining us shortly as I click over here. If I go to share both screens, hopefully we can, can get, you see me? Oh my goodness. Yes. I love it. I, when, so I love when technology oh, works. Okay. So before, hi, before I get to look, we even have a collage of you here. Do you like your collage? It's beautiful. You did such a good job. Uh, my, my beautiful wife did all the slides. So guys, before I um, jump in here, I, it's been such a privilege and an honor and just, it's cool when you meet somebody else that you're like, I get this person because we got the same vibe, the same energy, the same drive. And for me over this past, I guess years over, it, it's Tara Carr has been that chick. I'm like, man, I was like, she is my sister from another mister. And um, we had some time to really sit and chit chat um, just at this last summit and it can't do more and to talk about things. And we were talking about team and, and I just got to know her heart a little more. Cause I had, I'd kind of admired her story from afar and I don't want to jump into it because I want Tara to be able to, um, to share it with you. But she was a top 10 elite coach from last year. If you have the, from Su the success from home magazine, which I hope everybody does, there's a great write up, uh, in there about her and, and am I okay in saying your new qualification? Yeah, yeah. That she is in 15 star diamond qualification in her first CBC. So that's very exciting. So, Miss Tara Carr, all the way from Japan. So, is it what it's morning there, right? Yeah, it's 9 30. So. It's 9 30 in the morning. So, thank you for joining us for breakfast. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to be here with us today. Yeah, thank you. I apologize in advance. My voice sounds so hoarse. I've been doing calls like crazy to make sure I hold 15 stars. So I'm losing it right now. I totally understand. Qualification can be so much fun. So yeah. as you might've heard when I was setting this up, our team's been going, moving and growing really fast. So we have a lot of newer coaches on this call, coaches that are still trying to get to Emerald or maybe not know a whole lot. So can you, I'd love to just start, let's start from the beginning and just kind of share some of your story. Maybe they don't even know why you're in Japan right now. So yeah. let's back up and I'd love to hear a little bit of your story. Of course. So a condensed version of my story, because it is a very lengthy story. Basically, um, I lost myself. You know, I became a mom and married my husband in a courthouse, didn't even tell our families because he was deploying. So it was one of those things where it was a big secret. And then all of a sudden, three months later, I was pregnant. So we had two bombs to drop to the families and they both were super excited. And before we knew it, within eight months, we had orders to go to Okinawa, Japan. So the new little baby, um, we came over here, I was kicking, screaming, crying. I don't even know who I was back then. But come to find out, I love it here. And unfortunately, it took me becoming obese to realize how beautiful this place was. Um, I ended up becoming 62 pounds overweight after my husband would deploy over and over and over again. 
He's a Special Forces Green Beret, so he's gone all the time. I'm talking 10 months out of every year. And I would just make excuses after excuse after excuse. And before I knew it, our marriage was distanced. We were talking about divorce, and, you know, I just didn't know who I was. And he was doing P90X. Of course, I made the excuses of it was too hard. I couldn't do it. He showed me Shaleen Johnson like, now that I can do. I love Shaleen. I love her pimpiness. And... I pushed play, you know, I just, I committed, I changed my diet, I changed my lifestyle, and my first round I lost 49 pounds in 90 days, and then shortly got pregnant again with Jonah, my second one, who's now two, but I did turbo fire my whole pregnancy, and I was so motivated that I was going to have everything different this time around, and I finally, at the end of it, had lost 62 pounds in 90 days, and I had submitted my first results for a t-shirt, you know, that awesome t-shirt where only you can earn it. And I remember my husband being in the Philippines and, and saying to him, hey, I really want to get this T-shirt. Do you think they're going to, like, put me on the Internet or anything? Because these pictures are really embarrassing. Like, I don't want people to be seeing it. He's like, oh, no, honey, there's, like, thousands of people that probably, you know, submit for that. You're fine. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I signed a little waiver thinking I'm just like this person that they're never going to see or know. And I get a message from Dolores Thompson, and she's like, we love your story. You know, how long have you been a coach for? And I'm like, what's a coach? Like, I had no idea. And I had already been basically being a coach. You know, my friends watched me transform before their eyes, and everybody wanted to know what I was doing and, you know, if they could do it. I just was sending everyone to Beachbody.com. So long story short, I became a coach, and I ended up winning. I was uh, the second runner-up for Turbo Fire as a finalist and came to my first summit thinking all of you guys were crazy. I'm like, why are these people, um, you know, so – obsessed with health and fitness and why are they so happy but after being there for a couple of days I'm like I get this you know this is this is a cool company and I can totally you know see myself doing this as a full-time career so I jumped right in and I hit diamond in 21 days and one star in a month and five star within four months and I just kept going because I didn't want to stop so I'm a, I'm a firm believer that speed of the leader is speed of the pack for sure Okay, so that sparks a ton of questions in my head, and, I, and I've written some here. And guys, as as we go along here, if you want to put a Q and A in the in the question box, we'll get to your questions at the end of this. But I have, since I'm hosting, I get to ask my questions first. Um, so obviously, so I love the fact you were like diamond in 21 days, and so you jumped out of the box, and, and we'll get to this here in a second because it seems like you you instill that in your coaches as well. Why did you know you were going to be successful with this from the beginning? I didn't. That's the thing. I remember meeting Lauren off of YouTube. I was like looking at all these coaches and a fun fact, I was under Wayne Wyatt, but I met oh, wow. him and he didn't let me back. And so I switched to Lauren Knight because she was the first person to talk to me. And um, we, we got on Skype. We were both in our pajamas and she said, you know, I said, what do you need me to do? And I'm so not a pearl. Just if you guys do Danny Johnson, you'll know I'm not a pearl. I'm a ruby and a sapphire. But I said, what do you need me to do? Like, I, my husband's deployed. I stay up all night anyways worrying. So I can work all the time. And she's like, okay, you know, well, diamond is ideally what you want to hit. And I'm like, okay, what's like the average time for that? She's like, about 90 days and you'll get fast track. And I'm like, can I do it in 30? And she's like, well, I mean, a lot of people want to, but it's really hard. And I'm like, okay, I'll take the challenge, you know, and so she just pushed me to that. She's like, I want to, okay, I want to see you do it, diamond in 30 days, and I hit it in 21, so. That's awesome. So let's let's go that direction with your new coaches, because what really impressed me with, and this actually started before Summit, it was, for those of us that went on the Disney trip, if you were at the Disney trip, uh, Tara got up and shared some of, kind of how she starts a new coach, and kind of the expectations that she puts out there initially and she, you had a line about, well, this is just what we do. And it was, and it was, it was so, it was so groundbreaking to me. Cause I was like, well, if you set, if you tell somebody something's going to be hard, well, then it's hard. But if you just say, oh, this is just what we do. And that's the expectation coming in. So if you can touch just a little bit, maybe on that talk about the reverse engineer of somebody's goals, what the average time frame that you ask a new coach to hit Emerald is, let's start there. And then we'll get to success club after that. Yeah, so, I mean, this is, honestly, this is how I even hit 15 star. I know a lot of people are going to be like, how in the world did you do this so fast? And my second business center is, is quickly following. And it's because now, you know, my standard is diamond. When I meet with someone, it's like, hey, on this team, we are diamonds. That's our standard. And, and that's what I want you to push for. And they're like, well, what's a diamond? I'm like, well, let's get you to Emerald first in seven days, and then we'll talk about it. But I need to see that, you know, you have that kind of commitment 
Now that's not to say as a disclaimer before I go into you know what I do with my new coaches, I make sure that I do tell them I don't ever want to push my goals on them. I don't want them to be overwhelmed and, and do this for a different reason than what they want to do it for. So on the call, I let them know, you know, hey, this is my standard and this is who the majority of my time goes to is my diamonds on my team. So if you don't want to be a diamond, that's okay. If you right now just want to be a discount coach or you want to do this as a hobby, that's okay. But the moment you have that shift that you feel like you want to run with me and you want to take this as serious as I'm taking this, send me a message, let me know that you're on board and, and we'll go all the way with you. But if your goal right now is, is just to earn back your product, I'm absolutely going to make sure you do that within your first 30 days. After that, your success is on your own. You know, you follow in with the team calls, you, you follow in with the national coach calls, but I don't do one-on-one -on -one calls with anyone who's not a diamond on my team anymore. And that's just because it's growing so fast. You have to delegate where your time goes. So in the beginning, um, like Jimmy said, that was my emeralds. For me. My emeralds, I treated them as if they were my diamonds because I didn't have diamonds, you know, at that point. So I let everyone know emerald was the standard. If you wanted to have my time, you needed to be an emerald coach. And every new call I do, the first thing I let them know is that I love the three vital behaviors of Beachbody, but I change them around. So instead of it being invite, 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 be approved for the product works and personal development, I flip flop it all around. Number one for me on my team is personal development. You have to be reading every single day. When I'm talking to a new coach and, and you know they're frustrated time after time and time again, I can tell you on my Facebook group who is not doing personal development. I see right through that. So number one for me is personal development. Number two for me is be proof that the product works. You've got to be working out yourself. You have to be on Shakeology. You're not going to be successful in this business unless you're being a proof of that product. And then number three is invite. And a lot of people, you know, don't agree with that method with me. They're like, you know, well, then doesn't that slow down the process of your team growing because you're putting invite last? Actually, it makes my team stronger because the fact that they're, they're right in their mind, you know, as we all know, can be hard. Personal development, they've got the extra confidence. They're right with their body, so the confidence is there. Well, then they're, they're going to be stellar to invite people. So that's the first step that we do. But Emerald in seven days is the standard that I set, and I let – Every single coach, whether you're a discount coach saying, I just want a discount, I still let them know. Well, just so you know, if you ever wanted to do this, my standard is Emerald in seven days. It's only two people. So if you don't want to push for it, do you know two people you could refer me to that I could maybe help sign up under you and I'll train them for a little while? And I've done that for so many people where they're like, you know, my sister has been asking me and my best friend kind of wants to get on board. So let me just ask them. And I'm like, perfect. I do a three-way call. I, I get them signed up. I make them Emerald. And then I, you know, like Darren Hardy said at leadership, if you were there, you dig down and you find your fives and your sixes and your nines. And so sometimes those people will be number nines that sign up and I work with them and they'll become diamond before their Emerald sponsor does. And that's okay. It actually has pushed my coaches to now meet the level of their coaches. So one of my girls, um, she's actually getting ready to jump from Emerald to one star because she was in that same situation. She um, signed up a, a good friend of hers, and I've been working with her, and she hit Diamond, and now she's like, well, I want to be Diamond, too. So she's hitting Diamond this week as well, and um, she'll go straight to one-star qualifications. That's awesome. So there was an, in another conversation you and, I, you and I were having about this seven days to Emerald situation. You mentioned how you help your coaches do that, because I'm sure there's somebody on the call right now that's like, wow, that seems so daunting. Yeah. Um, but I thought – kind of the way you stepped them through it and how you handled the objections with them before they came up was genius. Do you mind touching on that just for a minute? Yeah. So I do basically the seven day quick start um, when I sign up a new coach. So I tell them this is the seven basic steps for you to become a successful coach. And I'm going to look at my sheet because I have a cheat sheet. So number one, we talk about the vital behaviors. That's number one. They have to understand that that's where my mind is and that's what I need them to do. I now recommend everyone on my team to read this book. If you have not read this book, Go Pro, it's amazing. I mean, it instantly stops the excuses before they even come. Because in the first chapter, he says, I want you to go to your sponsor or your consultant or whatever they're called, and I want you to say, thank you so much for you know inviting me for this opportunity, but this is my business. I'm going to own it. I'm going to use you as a resource and never an excuse as my upline. And I love it because it's immediately, you know, I tell them to get the book and I'm getting all these emails of like, I want to thank you for this opportunity in my <laughs> mind. I'm just like, yes, you know, because I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I used to be one of them. I never talked to Lauren. We've maybe talked a couple times and 
as far as the business side goes, but we would celebrate each other's success. And I remember in the beginning just being frustrated and thinking, shouldn't it be she be like handing me some secret manual as to like how I get to 15 star? Like, isn't there some sort of blueprint that I'm supposed to be getting? But there's not, you know, there's no, there's no secret in this business. There's no blueprint. It's just trial and error. What you learn along the way that works for me may not work for someone else, but what works for me, I'm going to share to my team in hopes that if they duplicate it, it'll work just as well. So for the seven day quick start, um, and I say, you know, Emerald in seven days, their first assignment is to complete the online training academy. They only have a couple days to do this, but the maximum time is seven days. We don't do another call, we don't talk, we don't Facebook, we don't do anything until they have completed that online training academy. And I can see when it's finished, um, when who's you know getting announced is completing it. So they have seven days to do that maximum. When they do that, they can rebook another call with me um, via acuityscheduling.com. I talked about this at Disney if you were in my social media bootcamp. It's a, a free website that you can use um, to have people book appointments with you. So if you, if you want to check mine out as an example, I'll give Jimmy my link to share with you guys. And you can see the different options that I have for people to choose. But one of them is called a uh, leadership roadmap. And so when they complete that online training academy, then they go back and they book a leadership roadmap call with me. That's where we sit down and we reverse engineer all of their goals. And so they should have a better understanding, you know, about the business. And we go over first any questions that they have. But I do tell them on the very first call, you know, as you go through this training academy, I don't want Facebook messages or frantic emails that you don't understand something. You write them all down and on our leadership roadmap call, when you're finished, we will go over those calls in person. And I do that because my time is valuable and I need my coaches to understand that their time is valuable. And I cannot be answering little questions here and there times 3,000. I would never have a life. So it must be delegated on our call and it forces them to finish the training academy. Because if I didn't set that in stone, they would, you know, ask a question here, ask a question there, and then maybe never finish it. So they have to finish it before I answer it. So on that call, we talk about their goals. I have um, Google Docs saved for different income levels. So if someone says to me, for example, you know, and, and again, I talked about this at Disney, so I'm sorry if this is a repeat to some people, but, you know, if they say to me, well, I want to make $150 a week, I'm like, okay, perfect. That means, you know, at an emerald, you're going to have to have this much volume on your left side. You're going to have to have this much volume on your right side. You know, I'm going to guess you're going to have to put this many hours into it. You're going to need to sign either this many challenge packs or this many coaches. So I give them a lot of different options on how that residual income can pan out. A lot of people, when they, you know, they, they do the training academy, they're excited. They're like, okay, I want to be a 10-star diamond coach by the end of the year, and I've got six months to go. So, you know, is it possible? And I'm like, well, of course it's possible. Anything is possible. But this is what a breakdown of that's going to look like. If you want to be 10 star and you want to be making roughly $1,000 a week, I always break down volume as income. I don't ever do commission. I don't ever do fast start bonuses. I only give them what it's going to take in volume because I instill that in my coaches right away. This is the volume is key. So if you want to make $1,000 a week, you're going to need to cycle 55 times. Add a diamond of $18 a cycle. And if they, like, you know, when we break that down, they're like, well, that's a lot of work. I don't have time for that. I'm like, okay, let's figure out what you do have time for because I don't want to set you up for failure. I don't want you to set a goal that is not attainable with the time that you have to work this business. So what is something more attainable that we can work towards? And I do that so I'm, I'm prohibiting a lot of objections coming up later. You know, I don't have time. This is too hard. Because we're making sure in the very beginning we're setting a goal that they do have time for. That's great. Um, and then uh, you'd also touch on something else about when, about helping them. I guess in Success Club and Emerald, kind of one and the same. You know, you and I were talking. You said something to the effect of, "Hey, do you know a couple people that would want to do this with you? Maybe even share your DVDs with you." And you'd say something like that. So you find some of the Shakeology, and you said, "Okay." So what are some of those objections? Like, can you walk through a little bit of that process as well? Because you had, yeah, you had but, mentioned that I think in our last our last chit chat, I was like, wow, I never thought about hand, helping them handle the objection before the objection came up. And that was really good. Yeah, I will. I mean, are you referring to the three-way calls I do a lot with people? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I just know that you had, you had told me when somebody got their challenge pack, you're like, okay, well, we're just trying to find two or three people that want to do this with yeah. you. And maybe it's your mom and she doesn't get the DVDs because she shares yours. But we get that Shakeology. And I just remember yeah. you saying before you even jumped on the phone, you asked them, what are some objections your mom might give you? 
you know, so you guys were prepped before going in. Yeah, we do. So a lot of my prospects, um, and that, and that's me kind of instilling emerald in them without them knowing it, you know, because I'm asking them, they buy their challenge pack, and I'm like, I'm so excited for you to join. Now listen, because you're in my challenge group, um, which I guess I should say, I have my own version of a challenge group, the Knockout 1.0, the Knockout 2.0, and then knock out 3.0. So I have designed these challenge groups all on my own. It's taken me about a two years time. They really work. I've mixed in personal development. I mix in faith. It doesn't bother anyone. And it's just something that works really, really well for me. And so I use that as a branding to set myself aside. You know, I'm confident that this knockout 1.0 challenge is going to absolutely change your life. It would change your mom's life if she could commit. It would change your sister's life. Do you think that you would be comfortable asking them, you know, hey, maybe mom, why don't you come over and share my DVDs with me? My coach said, you can get in my challenge group. You just have to buy your own Shakeology. So let's do this together. Let's partner up. And, you know, what would your mom think if you asked her that? And she's like, oh, my mom's going to tell me that. She's 52, and there's no way that she can do T25. And I'm like, perfect. I love the excuse. Because you know what? My mom's 52, and my mom said the same thing. And I got my mom doing hip-hop abs. So if T25 is too hard for her, we could set her up on a challenge pack, $140. We could get her the hip-hop abs and the Shakeology. You know, she can still be in the group. You guys could still do this together. You know, what do we say? You either get your mom on the phone and I help you through it or just go over and ask her and invite her and show her the team and show her how exciting things are. And that's how I, I get people to, you know, without being a coach, put themselves out there and see if their mom wants to sign up. Now, if they come back to me and they're like, I'm so excited. My mom said yes. My sister said yes. My brother-in-law's excited. I'm like, you need to be a coach because instead of me getting all these commissions, you just earn back your challenge pack and you don't even know it. But I'm going to coach them through the first challenge group. So you don't have to do anything. You know, I'm going to lead them through this and then afterwards you can take over. So it gets a lot of my coaches emerald before they even know it. They don't even know like what they're doing. They're just like, I'm so excited. I'm an emerald. And we kind of just go from there. But I do that because I know that I'm good at what I do. I know that I'm good at objections. We hear them all, all day long. And a lot of them are, you know, if they're trying to get their parents involved and saying, well, I'm too old for this or I can't do that. And you just, it's the, it's the whole Tommy Migrant. I don't know about that, but all I do know is this. And then yeah. I tell them what I do. That's great. Yeah. Okay. I got one more question and then we'll open. So guys, if you, if you guys have sparked questions while you've been hearing anything, please start filling up the Q and A box over here. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to zip through these here in just a second. But, um, I would be remiss if I didn't, while I have you here, we do have yeah. quite a few, um, military either active military on our team or spouses of military and so um just because you've been able to build such a huge team really worldwide what are some mm -hmm. tips that you because i don't know that all of our team that have military ties really understand the advantage they have and and how they can kind of um get get kind of that momentum rolling what are a few tips uh or insights that challenges maybe you faced initially that 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 you've been able to get over and some tips you'd give people that are either active military or a spouse? For sure. Um, I think for one, it is really different being an overseas military spouse versus being a military person in the States. I've done both. I know I know the difference between the two. And I can say if you're overseas or you, if you have coaches overseas, you really need to instill the if they are a coach overseas and they're living, I'm talking living, not just a hobby where one day they're really motivated and the next day they don't talk about it. And it's kind of that, you know, a little flip flop system. If they're consistent in what they do, which I have been in the last two years, people on this Island know my name. They've never even met me, but they know that I'm known as the girl who lives butterflies and roses. Although that's not my life and it's not perfect. I am always 99% of the time happy because of what I do. So people know where to find me and it's a small Island. And so if they want to lose weight or they want to get healthy, I get messages every single day. I woke up to literally 35 messages and just glimpsing through them, I can see people from Oki saying, hey, Tara, I live in Oki. You don't know me. And then I can't see the rest. But I know where it's going. They're going to say they need help or they're going to say they heard about me or they're going to say their neighbor told them I helped them lose 20 pounds because it's a tight-knit community. And you can either use the military two different ways. The military has a stereotype, which that was on my big bulletin board at Summit. You know, that's my quote is that, I want to break that military stereotype. Everyone talks about wives as being a dependasaurus or they talk us, you know, talk to us about us just, I don't know, you know, drama or, you know, always gossiping. And I'm like, that's not what I am. And that's not what I want to be. You know, I want to be confident. I want to run my own business. I want to be inspiring. I want to know that I made a difference in people's lives. And, and I created that for myself here. So I encourage you if you're military, especially overseas to, 
start a fit club. I started mine in my garage right next door through this wall, and we fit 20 people in there. Nothing fancy. I went out and bought baby foam mats and put a DVD player and TV out there, and we sweat our butts off in this heat. But it formed a little bond, and all of us coaches are still together. And, you know, it's, it's something that we've grown through, and now we have a facility off base, and it's huge, and it's amazing. And we didn't start that way, though. So that's important to know that when you look at coaches, that you're not looking at, you know, chapters and chapters ahead. You're looking at, you know, where they came from. So don't be afraid to start a fit club. Don't be afraid to host a Super Saturday. My first Super Saturday had two people who showed up. Two. The next one, I think, had five. We were, we were getting up there. But, you know, now I, I pack a room with 150. And I have to close it off because the fire marshal will get mad at us. So it's definitely a um, better process. But just be consistent in biting. Be consistent in being a proof of the product. And be consistent in just that positive attitude. And you'll definitely attract people to you. Now, how do you think that would be different to – you said it's different overseas. So what about those in the States? So those in the States are a little hard because they, most of them, you know, they can leave the, the base. Whereas us, we're surrounded by water. We don't really have that choice. <laughs> of leaving. <coughs> so in the States, it is a little different because people form friends that are civilians and they go and they drive and they do things or they take, you know, trips and they're not um, needing that tight knit community as much. So in the States, I still urge you to, you know, start a fit club. But I urge you more to build a social media presence, um, just making sure that, you know, when you're forming your team, you still have, you know, a Facebook group and everything, but not to just limit it to military. Because I see so many people now, you know, they see that the military has worked for me, so then they, they turn all their branding to military. And that's kind of hurting your business because it is different in the States versus being overseas. My Germany coach, she's rocking it. She went diamond, I think, in 30 days as well. And then... Um, I've got a coach in South Korea. She's diamond, and my coach is definitely overseas. They do excel more than the ones that um, are in the states, and I think it's just because it's your it's your demographics. You know, we we need that tight knit thing here, and people in the states don't as much. So don't focus so much on it. But I always offer the discount for the for the military, the twenty five sign up, because it's like why not? If you can get it, why not? There'll be a coach and. They'll at least give me elite points whenever they hit their 500 PV, and that's right. that. Hopefully, I can get them. You know, they just want to do it. That's cool. That's cool. So, guys, you keep. Uh, we have just a couple more minutes here. Uh, if you do have a question, pop it into that Q and A box there on your um, screen. Uh, Mary, Mer oh look, we're traveling. I know. I'm looking for my charger. My computer just went up and said, "Boop." <laughs> All right, you look you're for traveling. that real quick. Um, I I'm going to answer this first question while you're doing that because I can yeah. answer this one. Um, Meredith was asking, what does it mean when you reference finding your five sixes and nines? Um, last Was it last year at Leadership? Um, Darren Hardy, who wrote The Compound Effect, who everybody on this team should have either read or listened to that book because it's the first thing we encourage you to get. Um, he talked about, about prospect or new coaches kind of on a scale of like one to ten on how serious they are, how much they want to work. And so if, say, I sponsor Tara and she's – She's maybe a three or four. Like, I'm kind of interested, but I'm not really, you know, I'm just kind of enjoying my discount. If I get my Shakeology free, great. Not that there's anything wrong with that three or four, but when I help her find her two to get to Emerald, one of her twos, one of those two, maybe that person is a seven or an eight or a nine. And they were saying that just go put your time in, even though it wasn't my coach, it's Tara's coach. If she's, if one of her coaches is a nine, then I should spend my time with that nine and, and, Tara did such a great job of, of saying this also that my diamonds, and you probably do this team wide, get my time. If somebody in her organization wants a one on one call, that there's a certain level that, you know, you can work with groups with certain certain individuals, but then wouldn't you say that it kind of goes back to that Jim Rohn thing of give people the people that deserve your time to the people that need your time? Yeah. And it's no mistake that um, we do PV recognition too. And all of my diamonds, their their standard is 2,000 PV a week. They're always in my 2,000 PV club. Nice. And they're the only ones that ever are always. And I always tell people, you know, hey, this is no mistake that these diamonds are the ones that always have the highest PV because they have made this their standard, and they're making that their standard on their team. So their PV is always going to be the highest. So. It's, um, they have their own Facebook group, and I'm in there all the time. They know they get my attention first at my time, and, you know, we do our own calls, and they're the ones who, you know, get fun little gifts. But I do recognize my Emerald, and I do recognize, you know, my, my other PV earners all across the board. But 
I do make diamond my standard and, and they know that so they get the most of my time. That's awesome. I'm getting a lot of not necessarily questions, but just this is a great call. Oh my gosh, this is an awesome oh, call. Good. Please tell Tara yeah. I will watch this again. Um, tell her husband, the only one in the military, I'm going to rewatch this video again on YouTube. So um, yeah. this is really great. Obviously, there's been a, a, a lot of a lot of light bulbs and aha moments um, coming yeah. on here. Um, I, as I don't see there. She was awesome. I'm like, so I'm flipping through this and most of what they are is just like, thank you. Thank you. She's awesome. This rocks. Awesome. Um, so any last, so I, like I said, I don't want to take up any more of your time, but any last parting words or some things that maybe an aha moment that your team has gained extra momentum. I would love to hear maybe a story of somebody like that where, uh, something that's really worked well for you guys. Maybe it's been with T25 or vanilla or how you've taken advantage of, of this epic month that we've all had. Yeah, so I think for me, the aha moment for my entire team was, you know, again, speed of the leader, speed of the pack. So my team is seeing what I'm doing. And in the beginning, a lot of them were like, Terry, I think you're crazy. You know, you're supposed to sleep. Like, that's normal and that's healthy. You're supposed to sleep. And I'm like, I'm okay. Like, I'm just really excited. I've got these big goals I want to hit. And I didn't always share, you know, my goal in the beginning of wanting to retire Adam, which he's retiring 10 years early, you know, I'm getting him out. And I told him like, you don't have to do anything if you don't want to, you've been a busy man for the last 11 years. And my team is finally seeing that play and pan off for me. So I've been talking about that for, you know, for so long that this is what I'm working for. This is why, you know, I'm staying up and this is why I'm doing calls for you guys. And this is why this is important. And all they're like, yeah, that's really inspiring. That'd be really cool if that happened. Now they see me searching for homes with Adam and they see that, we're, we're going to be moving to Ohio and they see that we're going to be finally buying cars we've never had before. And they know like, they're like, so really like what, what job is Adam going to do when he gets out? When we see them here and I'm like, no, really, he's not doing anything. Like he's, he's getting out. Like he doesn't have to do anything. And that's inspiring them to be like, well, I would like to not work. I mean, maybe I could do this with you. And you know, maybe in two years time we could do the same thing. So it's definitely instilling in my coaches that their why isn't this fun little fantasy their why truly needs to be something that they believe in because I never for a moment thought that I would not achieve this. I knew I would retire Adam. I just didn't know if it was going to be earlier than planned or a little bit later. So I make sure that all of my coaches have that aha moment of what is your why and do you really believe that that's going to happen and making sure that we go over that on their leadership call all the time. It's one of the first questions I ask, how has your why changed? Or some of them have hit their whys and it's like, okay, what's something new that you can push for? You know, now I know that I, I need to take care of my family. You know, my family's not as blessed and as fortunate as, as we are right now. And a lot of them need our help. So there's definitely um, a lot of future goals that I have with that, but just making sure that your coaches believe that they're here for a greater purpose than just being Shakeology fanatics and people thinking we're in a cult. It's, it's more than that, you know, making sure big goals. Achieve. But and I think that goes back to the top of the call that when I asked you why why did you know you were going to be successful and you said well I didn't but the fact that you already had this in your gut like you saw mm -hmm. this as an opportunity to do something major for your family for your husband that you didn't know how you were going to do it but you yeah. just knew that was the goal and I think a lot of and I'm going to go and and talk directly to even new coaches and veteran coaches if you don't have that burning why you do this every day. You've got to find that because that I think that that's what keeps those of us that have been doing this for two, three, six years on some part. Um, and because you're going to hit those crappy times, you're going to hit those good months, you're going to hit those months where um, you're going to hit months where there are publications in military things saying negative things about Shakeology. And you're going to come through on the other side because um, because we're willing to stick with it. So if I'm taking anything from this as in addition to the two pages of notes that I took is if you don't have that defined, I'm willing to make some sacrifices and work this thing hard gut. Uh, why then I would go back and identify that. And it doesn't have to, is it the, about you? Is it about wanting to help somebody else? Um, because I think we all really at the end of the day have it. And then do you really believe that this opportunity can get you there? And Tara, that's what I really take from you all the time is that you never doubted once you, kind of put the green light on you saw this for the enormity that it is and we're just getting started i don't think people realize that we're just scratching the surface with this thing 
Definitely. And you have to sometimes be that tough love coach. So when you're talking to your coaches, they're like, yeah, well, I could never do that because, you know, I've got two kids or maybe that would be cool. And I'm like, well, I can already tell you you're not going to hit it because you don't believe it. It's not in your voice. It's not in your posture, you know, and, and at, to some, they're like, I can't believe you talked to your coaches like that. that. That could really be offensive to them. And some, they did get offended, you know, like, oh, I can't believe you're telling me I'm not going to achieve my goal that I'm saying. And I'm like, well, you don't believe it. I'm just telling you, I can see you don't believe it. And it makes them fired up, you know, it just makes them get that re-spark. So sometimes you got to give them a little bit of tough love too. That's awesome. Tara, thank you so much for your time. I can't thank you enough. Um, our first international call. This is pretty amazing. Yes. So um, guys, uh, please let Tara know, you know, how much and how appreciative you are for her time uh, today, whether it's on her Facebook page or however you want to reach out to her. Um and uh, thank you so much. And I will get you a copy of this as well. So uh, yeah. for anything you want to use as well. So thank you guys. Real quick as we wrap up here, guys. Uh, I know August is right around the corner. Personal development book for this month is going to be The Power of Habit. I'm listening to it right now. It's fascinating. I'll talk more about it when we have more time on a call next week. But in the meantime, just don't question it. Just go get it, either the book or the audio. I'm an audio guy. Uh, Continue to share your stories on the crew wall, the before and afters, like you see here. Stories, stories, stories. We need to be a collector of those. Please continue to share with us. And as always, remember to plug your coaches into crewtrainings.com slash new coach so they can get the new to crew webinar uh, so they can get off to a fast start and they can watch that before you do um, your getting started right interview or chit chat with them so they can get all their basics down. Tara, again, thank you so much. We'll be in touch soon. Good night, everybody. Y'all have a fantastic week.